Galaxy Flight uh, just announced a new edition, second edition for Star Wars X-Wing, which is great, especially considering X-Wing really needed a second edition. It's been around since 2012, although I haven't played it since probably Wave Nine. Uh, it's become you know kind of a bloated monster, uh, kind of a bloated monster. Um, there's several ships that don't really can't compete uh, point-wise with some of the other ships. Uh, this has a broken munition system that um, has really kind of broken since launch. And uh, both of those problems, Fancy Flight has not ignored them. They have put in fixes, basically by adding more expansion, uh, more uh, attachments, usually with zero or negative point costs that um, the ships can take, which uh, I certainly applaud the idea. But what that, what that has caused is a whole... There's a lot of ships to fly them. You need, you know, five or six cards. And that's just kind of a big mess. In some cases, it hasn't even really fixed the ship, so a um, second edition can give them a chance to really address all that. So here's Fancy Flight's four uh, main reasons for uh, second edition. Um, the first is uh, make some minor tweaks, improve game's flow, clean up interactions, and refocus the game on the physical act of flying starships. Um, that all sounds great. I would say it's probably slightly more than minor tweaks that the game could use. Like I said, I'd like to see a complete reworking of the munition system. I think that is going to happen. Um, there's also a link here to the FAQ. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And page not found. Um, that's I'm sure this will be fixed soon, but that's pretty hilarious. All right, so the second thing is they want to bring um, the Force into the game and make it a more crucial part of uh, the game. Okay, you know, I, does the game really need another system? Probably not. But at the same time, you know, Luke... Vader, they don't, Corrin Horn, they don't feel that different than other pilots. So giving them their own, like, kind of unique thing, I think that's fine. No problem with that. Third thing is faction identities are going to be strengthened. And so uh, factions will have uh, unique strategies and techs they can use. And also, it says that First Order and Resistance are going to be performed in their own factions, broken off from their parents' factions of uh, Rebels and uh, Empire. So I think that's all good. The game started with very distinct faction flavors, and they've kind of drifted into each other as time has gone on, as more and more ships have entered the fray. So that's, again, great news. And then finally, they're talking about a uh, squad builder app or website. And again, you know, this is great. I would love to see an app that's so powerful and useful that we don't need to use the cards. That would be amazing. It's probably unlikely to happen, but, I mean, I'd be willing to even... You know, scan my barcodes and uh, prove to prove the fantasy flight that I that I have them. You know, so they don't have to worry about me not uh, not buying their ships. Um, not being able to use the app to play the game would be super cool. And then, of course, there's talking about how they can use it to um, for special um, building lists for organized play. I mean, you could potentially even use this to edit the game from now on. Next time, there's a you know, an imbalance needs to be fixed, you just put it on the app, and now everyone everyone knows that, you know, A-wings are too powerful, and we can nerf them. So that's uh, all pretty cool. And, of course, this will be happening uh, through these conversion kits. So it looks like they are selling some new ships, which is a little bit worrisome. It makes me wonder, like, well, these ships better be in these conversion kits. I really hope they are, but... um. So there's conversion kits, uh, you know, we don't know how much they're going to cost yet or how, you know, many cards, etc. are going to be in there, but I'm, this is what the game definitely needs. So in here, I'm sure we'll have some cheap A-Wings instead of having to, you know, keep on putting the retrofit card on all our A-Wings. So I'm pretty psyched about that. These guys, you know, hopefully the ships look pretty identical at the moment, so I don't know why you'd be wanting to buy these. Uh, hopefully there's not really good cards that we have to have to buy these ships to stay competitive. Uh, that's the kind of thing I feel like Fancy Flight has done in the past, but hopefully it won't be happening this time. So here's like the force stat that Luke has access to. And then I've also said I've also spotted another stat, this sort of energy stat here, which seems to be the rework for munitions. Here we see that Luke has proton torpedoes, and the torpedoes come with two energy, but to use them costs one energy. That seems like a pretty good solution to the munitions problem, and it also can serve lots of other functions or other abilities. Uh, here we see that you know our astromech gives us more energy, which lets us maybe fire more missiles. 
I'm sure TIE Fighters could probably take a, you know, some widget that gives them more energy too. This seems like a pretty solid solution to the munition problem, and I'm um, actually really, this is probably the thing I'm most excited about. Like, Force is cool, obviously, like, Luke's been totally reworked here, so it'll be interesting to see how many pilots get totally reworked, but um, I'm really jazzed about this. This is pretty exciting stuff, and I cannot wait to, uh, to get my hands on it. So, Fantasy Flight, uh, they kind of already had me back, because I was... I'm pretty into Star Wars Legion right now. I've been painting, um, painting Starbox, and I just finished uh, the Snow Speeder. They're gonna get me back for X-wing too, so this is pretty exciting stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, and um, of course I haven't made a video in four months, but I uh, have a feeling there might be more on in the future. So uh, you know, please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you around.